right, what is up? We are live. Uh, just getting in, so let me uh, sort of pull up some things. While everybody sort of filters in right now, get to the uh, results here. And then, uh, uh, J-Ski, see if they got comments up there. points up just yet but we do have the results of the race while everybody filters in william byron of course wins the uh, race christopher bell is second there ty gibbs ends up third c bell coming there strong at the end had the fresher tires did make it somewhat interesting down the stretch but william byron i only saw the third stage but from what everybody told me uh william byron uh dominated the entire race didn't put a, a wrong move out the whole day uh first half of the race i was at south boston which uh just in case you haven't heard by the way we won. Craig Moore puts it in victory lane for us. So a uh, big day for us. I got the win at South Boston. So appreciate everybody. Uh, Alex Bowman there finishes fourth. Good run for him. That's back to back weekends. I think he finished sixth last weekend. Gets the fourth here. Of course, second at Daytona. And then uh, his middle races in between there were not good. But good run for him today. Tyler Reddick finishes fifth. AJ Allmendinger is sixth. Ross Chastain is seventh. Chris Busher is eighth. Kyle Busch rallies from a spin to finish ninth. Uh, a spin with uh, Christopher Bell, by the way, uh, aforementioned. That is the poll question. We'll get into that in a second as well. Martin Trix Jr. finishes 10th. Uh, he also uh, recovered from a spin. I heard that part on radio. Joey Logano uh, finishes 11th. He needed a good run. Good, solid run for the 22 team. So hopefully that can bump them up in the points. Don't have a points uh, print out just yet, but as soon as we get one updated, I will go over the points. Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Denny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace, uh, round out your top 15. Good run for Bubba Wallace, not known as a road course racer, uh, but a top 15 there. And they had, uh, I didn't see it, but I heard him talk about it, of course, uh, as I was listening in and out of the radio. They had several difficulties on the 23 car today, and he was over to over, able to overcome those as well. I want to give a shout out to Justin Haley. At one point in this race, he was up to 11th. Uh, he kind of faded there toward the end. I think his tires were older than other people's. Uh, but good run for Justin Haley. He finishes 17th. Uh, Shane Van Gisbergen didn't have the run he wanted. He didn't have first gear. He ends up 21st, and uh, I can't say his first name. I'm, I'm going to try, though. Kamiyu Kami Kobayashi, uh, he ends up 30th. Uh, he had an eventful day. At one point, I saw Josh Berry just flat dumping. I'm not exactly sure what that was all about with Josh Berry, but uh, definitely <laughs> definitely uh, Josh Berry, for some reason, wasn't happy with him. Michael McDowell finishes dead last. I uh, had a steering issue. So he is uh, he is first on Earth too. Or if you're uh, keeping up with Brock Beard's last car, Michael McDowell is your last car today. All right, I'm gonna update this and see if we've got the points just yet. Uh, all right, still no points. We'll come back and check them. Uh, but we'll jump into what you guys want to talk about. Like I said, the poll question is: uh, Should Kyle Busch be mad over the C Bell contact? 62% say yes. 38% say no. 16 votes in right now. So we'll see where it stands once uh, everybody gets their vote in. Bruce Garvey saying congrats on the win. Man, thank you so much, Bruce. It's been a uh, been a hot minute uh, since Craig got it in victory lane himself. Now, we, we've helped some other drivers to victory lane, uh, but it's just a little bit different when uh, Craig uh, Craig wins because that's, uh, that's the main guy I work for, uh, and that's the guy I started out uh, working with. So uh, always a cool deal. In fact, I think the last time we won with Craig was at South Boston, uh, and that was in the Cars Tour. And I want to say that was 2018 or 2017, somewhere in there. Uh, so, yeah, big uh, big time win. Let's go 24. Hey, say Kyle, there you go. Uh, your boy won, and uh, we won today. So, uh, big big time, big big day for both of us. But, yeah, William Byron gets it done. Unfortunately, he's not doing the big hat. Uh, he's not being Billy Big Hat anymore. That's kind of a bummer, but it's all good at the same time. What's up, Mar Barnum? Good to see you in here. Uh, <clears throat> way to uh, way to uh, way to go, Ty. Uh, should have the uh, points lead, uh, says CY. Yeah, so uh, when the points do update, uh, that will be interesting. Let me jump over here. I didn't go over the stage wins either. Uh, stage stage, uh, stage points are also really big. So Christopher Bell did get 10 stage points in stage one. Daniel Suarez, who faded, uh, at least uh, his finish faded, he got uh, he got the uh, nine points uh, in stage one. Michael McDowell got eight points in stage uh, three. So that'll help out the last place a little bit. Austin Sendrick, seven points. Uh, in stage one, Austin Dillon, uh, some positive news for him. Six points in stage one as well. Uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., five. William Byron, four. 
Uh, Ty Gibbs, three. Tyler Reddick, two. And Ross Chastain, uh, one point in stage one. And let's go over stage two. Denny Hamlin wins stage two. Ryan Blaney gets nine points out of it. Mark Trix Jr. gets eight. Todd Gilliland with seven. Ryan Priest with six. Brad Keselowski, who had an eventful day, got five in stage two. John Hunter Nemechek uh, gets four points there. Uh, William Byron, uh, another three points there. So he, William Byron got points in all the stages uh, and wins the race. Uh, Daniel Hemrick with two points there. And Josh Berry getting one stage point in stage two. Did forget to go over that earlier. So uh, there you go. Those are your uh, stage points. Uh, all right, let's jump back over here to the comments. Quattro, what's up, my friend? Always good to see you on here. Uh, what's up? <coughs> Excuse me. What's up in between the lanes? Uh, always good to see you on here as well. Uh, back in the top 10, everybody's favorite, Mr. Rowdy Bush. Uh, happy for Truex Jr. as well, says in between the lanes. Yeah, uh, both had an, event, an, an eventful day and both end up with nice top 10s there for sure. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate Ty on letting his ego uh, get in the way of a JGR win. If Ty let Bell go uh, even a corner or two earlier, the 24 doesn't win, says I uh, say Kyle. Uh, yeah, that, and uh, instead of waiting five laps to uh, make his pit stop, if they had just waited three laps, I think he he would have had a uh, a better chance. So there's all kinds of things you can factor into that. Uh, the other thing, of course, being, uh, what was I going to say? He had a, I think he had a little bit of a slower pit stop than William Byron did. So congrats to William Byron's pit crew on getting him out there really fast. So that's that's another thing. The pit crew got did their job and did everything and got it done. Uh, on William Byron. So like I said, whole team effort. They did everything they needed to do to get the win today. So good for them. McDowell didn't help me in fantasy, says in between the lanes. Yeah, McDowell had a good car. Ford, once again, man, what was what was the uh, highest finishing Ford here? Uh, da, 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 da. Ford is not like way off, but they're uh, they're just they're just not where you expect them to be. Eighth place for Chris Buescher. Uh And I think just judging from stage one, I feel like Michael McDowell had a really good car too. So I, I would like to see where he would have finished. But yeah, eighth place for Chris Buescher. Then you got Joey Logano and Ryan Blaney, 11th and 12th. So just not, and Chase Briscoe below them, but it's just not exactly where you want Ford to be right now. You can tell the speed is there for Ford. They just can't really like harness uh, how to make the car turn or whatever, however you want to say it. So yeah, just uh, interesting there. Uh, biggest problem with the uh, 23 is the is the steering wheel holder. Bubba sucks, says Mark Barnum. So Mark Barnum, I'm not a Bubba Wallace fan. Uh, let's see. What's up, BB? How's your uh, weekend? For me, uh, it's still rough uh, after Friday, says Chrome Diesel. Uh, my weekend uh, is is exceptionally good. Uh, so I was I was not actually going to go to the. Uh, it's good because we won the race at South Boston, I should say. I was originally not going to that because it got rained out on Saturday. And Sunday, I was trying to do the uh, pre-race live stream, so I wasn't going. I had a guy that was going to, you know, fill in and, and, and do uh, the stuff I would normally do. But his daughter got sick, so I got a call this morning at, like, 745, like, hey, man, I need you to come. I know I know you got to do your thing, but I need you to come. So I was like, all right, man, it's, it's, it's not, like, a huge deal. I can definitely uh, I can definitely at least get you through the first half of the day. Ended up staying for the whole late model race because the late model race went first. And, man, am I ever glad I went. But it was such a hard decision, man. Like, I, I didn't want to not go because I, I'd spent all week working on the car, uh, helping Craig work on the car. Craig had spent, you know, all week, uh, like almost two weeks getting the car ready. Uh, and also, before I go any further, I want to say a big shout out to Jay Fogelman and Tate Fogelman. It, that is Tate Fogelman's car uh, that he drove at Wilkesboro. We don't have Craig's car ready yet that he's going to drive for, like, basically the regular part of the season. So, uh, Tate Fogelman, Jay Fogelman, a huge shout out to them uh, letting us borrow their car. That is actually their car. That's why it's the 87. We're normally number one. So huge shout out to them for letting us borrow the car. Uh, and uh, thank God, you know, we, we, we put it in victory lane and, and the thing's not scratched or harmed uh, at all. So shout out to them. I want to give a shout out to Marcus Richmond too. Marcus Richmond, RNS race car chassis. Uh, shout out to him for uh, helping out Craig uh, with some of the setup stuff and, and getting us uh, over the hump there. So, uh, all right. I know most people don't want to hear about that. So let's jump back into the NASCAR stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, BD, uh, were you uh, impressed with uh, Daniel Hemrick today? I, I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you uh, anything about Hemrick. Like I said, I only saw most of the last stage uh, and maybe uh, and I heard a little bit of it on the radio. So uh, I can't uh, I can't speak to Hendrick uh, Hemrick Hendrick. Uh, where did he end up finishing, though? Oh, Danny. Dan oh, Danny boy. 38th, 38th. So there you go. He uh, he had his own troubles there. So uh, unfortunate finish for him. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Denny Hamlin rocked the uh, interstate battery scheme at uh, Coda. Yeah, I do like the interstate battery scheme. That's uh, that's a good one. Uh, even more drama from uh, from South Boston. We had a we had a bad battery, so we almost uh, we almost didn't even get out there. So uh, we were chasing an electrical problem. It ended up a brand new battery uh, just wasn't any good. So we had to buy another battery, uh, and that uh, sorted the issue. Uh, Camaro fifty, appreciate you. Uh, thanks, uh, congratulating us on the win. I appreciate you, uh, Camaro fifty. Uh, Craig Moore, uh, the, the driver, by the way. Uh, you can watch it on uh, the, the South Boston race. You can watch the replay on Flow TV if you've got Flow. Uh, any schemes you like, BD? I tell you what, uh, Kobayashi, I, I think far and away, uh, all the schemes, there, there were some very good schemes out there, but by far and away, uh, Kobayashi uh, had the best scheme. The Mobile One, Gold and Black and White, that thing was tough. Uh, some of my favorite colors. Uh, Bell Spun Larson uh, and then Bush, Siskamara 50. Yeah, so I haven't seen, I didn't see the first uh, two segments uh, or whatever, so I have to go check those out. But uh, yeah, apparently he got into Kyle Larson as well. Uh, a couple of people have told me that, so I have to, I'll have to check that one out. I only saw the Kyle Bush uh, replay. So uh, and and uh, as far as as far as me weighing in on the polls, since it looks like it's a runaway, I agree. I would be mad if I was Kyle Bush too. I know you got to be aggressive on the road course. You got to make the passes when you get it. But but Christopher Bell took a terrible angle uh, into that turn when when Kyle Bush was already racing uh, whoever he was racing right there. And he and he just uh, he just got wiped out by C Bell. I love C Bell. I think C Bell is a great driver, but that was a terrible angle. Uh, that was that was just a just, just a mistake on his part. So I understand 100 uh, percent why Kyle Bush would be mad. I would be mad too. I see Kyle saying good week. Uh, BD wins. Byron wins. I uh, celebrated my anniversary at the Marriott. Upgraded us to a suite. Hey, congrats! Uh, happy anniversary to you, my man. Uh, W's all across the board. Uh, yeah. Also, and uh, Banchero had a triple double the other night too. So. Uh, Good, good week, good weekend all the way around. Uh, Fox cut the commercial while everybody's favorite outdoorsman, uh, Martin Triggs Jr., uh, was on pit road in Arvick. Uh, gave me the bad news on the pit stops. So, yeah, there were a couple of pit penalties. I don't know what happened to Chase Elliott. I caught the tail end of it, but he got penalized for something. He either was, like, cutting a corner or something like that, but he got some type of penalty uh, as well. So he uh, he lost uh, some time because of that. I think the uh, heel turn for KFB – uh, would lead uh, to more success for him, bring back 2008 KFB. He's with the right team to make a heel turn. Uh, RCR loves a good heel, uh, for sure. Uh, Brad Keselowski celebrated 125 years of Castro Edge. I was speaking of heels. Uh, Austin Heel Hill, uh, he, uh, he he made another uh, heel turn. Uh, Mr. Austin Hill did. So uh, some people were upset about it. Some people loved it. So I'm an RCR man, so uh, I will defend him. Uh, but I know a lot of people, a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, he basically uh, he he roughed up SVG. I'll just I'll just call it like it is, man. But that being said, that being said, I like SVG too. But by God, SVG roughed up <laughs> AJ Allmendinger and Ty Gibbs in that Xfinity race too. So uh, people forget what happened the lap before, but they definitely remember the lap after when uh, Austin Hill got into SVG. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I loved every minute of it because it was just guys going for the win. Like I didn't mind it when SVG did it. And I didn't mind it when uh, Austin Hill did it. I did think it would be cooler to see SVG win the race uh, than, than uh, you know Austin Hill uh, going for it. And ended up being Kyle Kyle Larson winning the race. So I mean, I mean that that's always a good outcome for me. But like, uh, I think it would have been cooler if SVG had a pulled off the win. It would have it, it would have had as far as Xfinity storylines go, it would have had way bigger uh, implications because then SVG would be locked into the playoffs. But I do think SVG gets a uh, – he'll get a road course win over there in the Xfinity Series. So uh, all kinds of drama happening all weekend. Uh, NHRA is on. Congratulations uh, again, Kyle. I appreciate you, Camaro 50. Enjoy uh, the NHRA. I uh, hope uh, whoever you're pulling for over there gets it done over there as well. Uh, man, uh, as a short track fan, uh, don't ever feel sorry for missing the day with us. Uh, we can wait, says Bruce Garvey. I know, man, but I tell you what, it feels, it feels terrible. I, I will hardly ever have to make that decision, to be honest with you. But uh, today was one of those days where I had to make that decision. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, the rain, the rain forced that decision for sure. Uh, hi, y'all from North Idaho, says Cassandra. What's up, Cassandra? And what's up, North Idaho? Hello, everybody. Just saw the uh, alert. Says one wise guy. Yeah, I forgot to uh, put it out on Discord that I was going live. So apologies there. Uh, Cup car still sucks uh, at road courses, even if stage cautions are back. Now that I can't speak to because I didn't see the whole race. Uh, but it did look like William Byron had a good lead, so I don't know. It, it just seemed like there was a lot of green flags. I'll have to see. I have to see how the whole race plays out before I say uh, how the race was. I want to. I want to go. I've got it recorded, so I'll go back and watch it uh, and I uh, catch uh, the whole deal. Uh, let's see. Uh, BD, what motor oil uh, do you like the most? 
Uh, well, <clears throat> it depends on uh, what car. When I had uh, the Mini Cooper, I used Mobile One synthetic. Uh, I mainly use now Valvoline because I've got a. Uh, I use Valvoline in the Silverado. I don't know what I'm going to use in the Fiat. I actually need to look that up. I need to look up what what motor oil the Fiat normally comes with. Mopar. What Mopar? What's the uh, Mopar motor motor oil? Because that's uh, that's that's who made the engine. Uh, yeah, and then then the Honda. Uh, that's uh, that's still under warranty. So uh, when I had that, uh, put it. Uh, that was just whatever the factory puts in. Still don't like the uh, cautions for the uh, stage brake. Seems like all it does is make a, a lot of commercials. Uh, commercial money for Fox. That is definitely part of it. Uh, and the other thing is, they just want to break it. They just want to break the race up. They just want a built-in caution. Uh, they don't have to. They don't have to throw the uh, phantom yellows like they used to throw back in the day. If anybody remembers those, did Kobayashi sleep with uh, Stenhouse's woman or something? Dude is of uh, dude, dude is obsessed with rest, uh, wrecking Kobayashi. Uh, says say Kyle. Yes. Yeah, so apparently Ricky Stenhouse got into him, and uh, Josh Berry just for whatever reason just dumped the ever living mess out of him. Uh, Kobayashi threw basically the slider, and Josh Berry just never lifted and just sent him. Uh, I do not know what that was about, so I'll have to. I don't know what happened a, a couple corners before or whatever, but that was uh, that was aggressive and blatant <laughs> on Berry. And, and you you'd really the reason it surprised me. You really don't see Josh Berry do that too often, so I, that makes me feel like something happened uh, before that. How many points uh, in total did uh, Austin Dillon uh, make up this race? Well, he got six, uh, and then however many points you get for finishing twenty fourth. Uh, if somebody wants to look up uh, finishing, or did he finish 24th? I think he finished 24th. 26th. Uh, so however many points you get for finishing uh, 26th. Or you can look up, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, however many points you get for finishing 21st, because I think roughly that would be where he finished with the uh, bonus points. Uh, so there you go. Uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it gets him going in the right direction. Joey Logano had a big jump in points, I'm going to imagine, too. Let me see if uh, let's see if they've updated it here over at Jayski. Oh, nope, still no uh, still no points updates from Jayski, so uh, we will keep rolling without that. Parker Kligerman pit road uh, exchange yesterday was funny. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so Parker Kligerman and uh, is it Sage Karam or San, San, Santono Ferrucci? Sage Karam, right? Yeah, Sage Karam uh, and Parker Kligerman, they got into it. So uh, that'll be interesting going forward. Uh, SVG almost won. Xfinity race apparently uh, must have uh, cut the course. Uh, it says in between lanes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So that was the other, I guess, headline from uh, Xfinity was uh, track limits or whatever. Uh, there was a lot of track limits uh, issues over there. Uh, so uh, that was that was controversial. And SVG got hit with that, uh, which cost him a huge, a huge amount of points because of 30 second penalty. Uh, SVG also ran up uh, front uh, as well uh, due to strategy. Uh, it says in between the lanes. Uh, so uh, what's the backstory with uh, Kobayashi and Stenhouse? I know he uh, dumped him at Indy too. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. You have to ask uh, Ricky Stenhouse about that one. Uh, BB Roots for John Force. Uh, John Force is uh, is pretty much the man, the Castro Motor Oil uh, driver back in the day uh, before he switched over to uh, whoever, uh, whoever his sponsor is now. It uh, doesn't matter what track uh, you're at, Byron. It will be a threat for the win for sure. So far, this season is shaping up to be uh, Hendrick versus Joe Gibbs. That's what this season has uh, has sort of uh, formed into uh, the early part of it, at least. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I just read that one. Uh, BB, uh, I haven't been here in weeks. Uh, you're the best man. Uh, all my biddies uh, and I watch uh, watch you. Uh, number twenty four for life says Lorenzo. Appreciate you, uh, Lorenzo. And uh, shout out to the biddies over there. I hope everybody is doing good on your end of the planet. Uh, uh, no, uh, no on uh, track cautions, just cautions for the stage breaks. Uh, yeah, so it would have been uh, it would have been like another Michael McDowell uh, deal if there wasn't stage breaks because uh, didn't McDowell uh, he went like wire to wire last year, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, not counting stage cautions, it was caution free. How do you uh, from the Great White North? Uh, Ross did great. Uh, did he upset anyone? Uh, oh, who won the race? I keep forgetting. Uh, will he be, uh, the story this week? Oh, it's, uh, it's, a. Uh, let's see. He was aggressively blocking somebody at one point, maybe Ty Gibbs, but, uh, I think other than that, but I didn't see the first half of the race either. So I'll have to check out the first half, but other than that, I didn't really see him do anything. Uh, based mini Cooper owner, uh, I use uh, Castro and mine says need for speed. Yeah. I don't think it's as big a deal as it used to be. Like, I know like back in the day, if, if you switched motor oils, there was a good thing. There was a good chance you were going to 
you're going to fry a head gasket. They seem to have evened them out and have more of a standardized uh, version with the synthetics now. So uh, it doesn't seem as uh, as drastic, but I still use uh, whatever is uh, recommended on the uh, on the cap there. Uh, I'm not a fan of Coda, says Escobar. Yeah, so Coda is not going to be for everybody. I'd say probably 50-50. That'd probably be a better poll question. Uh, so I might throw that one up here in just a minute. Nemechek uh, was up in the uh, top 10 due to strategy. Yeah, they're, they're doing some good strategy with the 42 car. Uh, and for whatever reason, the 43 car, even when they have speed, they're, they, they're just, uh, they've had bad luck this year. Uh, so uh, the 43 car, I uh, got to get it together here. Uh, Chase Elliott rocked the uh, Napa whiteout. That was a pretty good look. It was a Napa, Napa night vision or something like that. Yeah, the all white car uh, definitely looked really good today. Uh, Indy car had the uh, thermal race. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, basically like the All Star race. So that's uh, I'm gonna have to look and see how that went. Hopefully, hopefully that went well for them. They need some positive momentum over there. Chase Elliott looks completely lost. Uh, is it time to be concerned? Uh, says Jesse Daly. Uh, I don't know about concern. Uh, Lorenzo becoming a member. I uh, appreciate you there. Uh, oh, there we go. Boom with a fist bump there. Uh, Lorenzo, appreciate you, my friend. Um, let's see. I don't know. I, I need to see the points, but I feel like he's still like close to top 10 in points. Uh, I don't think he lost a ton today. Uh, still hasn't updated on the points, so uh, I'll have to wait on that. But uh, I'll have to look at the points. He's still pretty good in points, though. Bowman is getting back into uh, his groove. That's good to see. Yeah, that's that's two good races in a row. He had a good race at Daytona. Then he had three basically bad races. Now he's had two good races back in a row. So, And I think, I think Chase Elliott will get on a, a run like that as well. Uh, it look, like I said, it looks like a, a Hendrick versus Gibbs type of year. That's what it's kind of shaping up to be. I do feel like somebody from Ford is going to figure it out and step up. So uh, I am waiting on that because I feel I feel like there's a lot of raw speed in the Mustang Dark Horse. They just need to figure out how to get it to handle a little bit better. They're missing just a little something there. Uh, let's see. Uh, baby, uh, BD Ty Gibbs is uh, Ty Gibbs might win the uh, Cup Championship this year. Says OJ and Toothpaste. Hey, look. He is, uh, he's getting it done. I want to say he's got a good chance of getting the points lead. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, how many he was back, but I feel like he's got a solid chance of getting that points lead because uh, uh, I think Kyle Larson was leading it, and he had a suboptimal finish. I think he was like 19th, 18th. Kyle Larson finished 18th, and I don't think he got any stage points. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll have to see how that uh, shakes out. And, of course, Ty Gibbs did get three stage points in stage one. And that's it. So there's three three bonus points for Ty Gibbs plus the really good finish uh, there. So uh, he might he might be your points leader. Uh, and he's had a heck of a season. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Been the most consistent. Uh, that, is, uh, that is for sure. We'll see. <clears throat> Scott Dixon got a penalty at Thermal for uh, avoidable contact to Grosjean, uh, who crashed on lap one. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Roma, name somebody that's got worse luck in motorsports than uh, Grosjean. Uh, and it also sucks because uh, I like Scott Dixon. Uh, Alex uh, Pelot pretty much uh, dominated the thermal race, so it was a walk away. Uh, OJ, uh, I can see uh, Gibbs and uh, Reddick battling for the championship. Yeah, don't sleep on Tyler Reddick. Uh, he's another one sort of like Christopher Bell. Uh, doesn't get, or has at least this season hasn't been talked about that much. Uh, who thinks uh, C-Bill catches Byron if uh, if Ty lets C-Bill go? P.S. Uh, I hate team racing. Uh and don't think he should. Yeah. So that what's interesting about that is Alex Bowman didn't put up. Alex Bowman could have slowed them all. He could have slowed them all down. He could have fought like he was Ross Chastain uh, to the to the bitter end, and he could have slowed down both of the Toyotas. Uh, he could have teamed race there, but he decided he was like, you know what? I'm trying to get the best finish for the 48 team. So uh, he let uh, Baby Gibbs go, and then he let Christopher Bell go. Or, or uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Gibbs caught him first. So he, he basically let both of those guys go. Uh, and then uh, Gibbs, uh, he put up a little bit of a fight with Christopher Bell, just enough of a fight uh, in a lot of people's opinion. I'm not saying uh, I agree with that or not. I need to rewatch it. But uh, a lot of people's opinion, he put up just enough of a fight to give uh, Ale uh, uh, William Byron uh, that big enough gap to continue and, uh, and uh, have just enough of a lead uh, to uh, get it done there. Uh, don't watch the IndyCar race for your sanity, he says, need for speed. So was it was it that bad? Maybe I'll just catch the highlights then. Maybe the IndyCar race wasn't that bad, but all the brakes, uh, all the brakes drove me insane. Oh, so the commercials uh, and, and the stoppage in, in racing. So uh, maybe maybe watching the replay of it, I can speed it, speed it up through all that stuff, and it'll be a different experience. Denny Hamlin, uh, next guest on Happy Hour. That'll be pretty cool. 
that'll be sort of a, a cross promotional deal uh, for those guys on their podcasts. Uh, the Great White Hope uh, SVG finishes uh, poorly uh, without uh, any NASCAR uh, setting up the race for him. Uh, says Glenn. Uh, well, he uh, also didn't have first gear, so that was uh, that was part of it. Uh, so not exactly apples to apples, but uh, I think he'll be okay uh, at the road courses. Like I said, I'm not expecting him to win uh, the other road courses, but I do expect him to be competitive because I know at one point he was actually running pretty good, uh, even without first gear. And even without first gear, he outran at least one of his teammates. Uh, I don't know what happened to Daniel Hemrick, but he had a terrible race. Uh, after uh, Chase Elliott got the uh, penalty, it looked like he was driving a car uh, harder. That could uh, that could help him in the long run, knowing that he can push uh, that car harder now. Yeah, so maybe maybe he takes some of his bad days and just turns them into R&D days. I feel like that's what you got to do with this particular uh, set of rules where you don't have practices. They don't release points totals until uh, post-race inspections uh, are done, says CY. Yeah, for sure. But sometimes post-race goes faster than others. You just never know. Uh, did Matty D run yesterday? Uh, I didn't hear a word about him. I know his his first race. Uh, one wise guy. His first race is going to be next weekend at Richmond. So he did not. He he was not uh, in the in the uh, car this weekend. It's going to be next weekend at Richmond. Uh, your Ferraris uh, one and two uh, in Australia. Max V had a uh, uh, rear uh, wheel uh, uh, issue. Uh, says Brickyard Brickhead. Hey, so there you go. I didn't. I haven't even had a chance to look at the F one race. I hadn't even thought about it. So that's that's great news. Ferrari one. I should have worn my Ferrari. Uh, my Ferrari jacket or uh, team shirt or uh, one of one of my Ferrari uh, one of my pieces of Ferrari gear. Uh, so that's awesome. I didn't even know that. Uh, who uh, who won? Was it uh, which uh, which Ferrari won? Was it Signs or uh, oh god? Uh, whenever this thing comes on, uh, let's see. Leclerc. Uh, let's see. Uh, being a Grosjean fan uh, isn't fun. LOL says Need for Speed. I swear that guy's got some horrible luck. Uh, let's see. So Signs won. Uh, Leclerc finished second. So. Uh, that's that's what's that's what oh man that's what really uh i hate to sound bitter about getting lewis hamilton because it's always a good day when you get lewis hamilton one of the best of all time if not the best of all time to do it over there in f1 but god almighty i hate to lose i, I hate to lose carlos signs man like it's uh it, uh, as a ferrari fan that's rough man uh bb how about that f1 race is oj and two-face I'm, I'm learning about it uh real time uh live uh the Duke girls beat Ohio State today in March Madness, says Mark Barnum. Yep, and uh, Duke, uh, we, we whooped up pretty good on JMU, it looked like. 90 to 50-something last time I looked at it. Bruce Carviel after the F1 race when uh, Carlos Sainz said the key to winning <laughs> was getting an appendectomy. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. So he, he actually uh, had to have like a, a bit of a relief driver there for part of the weekend. He got that uh, appendectomy done uh, either this week or last weekend. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know which race was worse uh, today, Indy uh, or Cup. It's a toss-up, says Escobar. Uh, the thermal needs some uh, some tweaking. Uh, first half was uh, slow go and save tires, and then all out in the second half. Signs one says Chrome Diesel. Uh, BB, have you ever had a uh, perfect uh, bracket for March Madness? I've never had a perfect one, but in 2010, uh, crazy enough, it was one I didn't even send in. This is always how it works, right? But in 2010, I only missed three games. Uh, the year that Duke won with uh, I think Zubek was the uh, center. I uh, throw up the Z for Zubek. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I only missed three games on that one. And, that, and of course, you have to do one bracket where you pick your favorite team to win. So that was my bracket where I picked Duke to win. But uh, that was the crazy one. I, I missed three games uh, on that one. And the three games I missed were uh, some some really good team got upset early. And th that was that was the uh, that was the team I missed. I think it was maybe Kentucky that year or something. Uh, but Yeah, that was the uh, that was the team I missed. Uh, Signs Jr. won, uh, says in between lanes, Gibbs, I had to protect uh, second place. If Byron had an issue or missed a turn, uh, Gibbs would have benefited instantly. People don't see uh, see that with 10 to go. Uh, it is every man for himself, uh, says Lorenzo. Yeah, I don't I don't think Gibbs did anything wrong. Uh, I think he just, uh, his teammate Bill had the, uh, had the better tires, and for sure, you're racing for a win. There's no teammates in the last five or ten laps. And for some guys, there's no, there's no teammates, period, uh, just depending on uh, who the driver is. Speaking of Xfinity, oh, my God, abs uh, Deegan was absolutely awful this weekend. Pretty sure uh, Molasses and Winter uh, could have outrun her. She's not known as a road course ace, so I was not expecting I was not expecting her to do well. So the, those uh, she she uh, needs road course help for sure. And uh, so I'm not even uh, – I don't even pay attention to the road course stuff with her. But she's out there doing her thing, chasing her dream, and uh, you know the only losers, uh, the only losers, according to Little Miss Sunshine, are the people who don't try because they're too scared to lose. So uh, she's out there chasing her dream uh, and doing her thing. Ferrari is getting rid of the uh, wrong driver. 
says Escobar. I don't know if they're getting rid of the wrong driver, but I, I do believe they should have kept both of those young guys together. Uh, signs one, uh, says Brickyard Brickhead. Uh, was Zion your all-time favorite Duke player? Zion Williams was not my all-time favorite Duke player. He was good, and I hated that he blew his uh, that blew up the shoe, uh, which then blew up, I think, the knee, uh, which then apparently uh, blew up the belly. But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, that that was how his uh, year went. Uh, who would be, uh, oh man, favorite Duke player? That's a tough one, dude. Like without Johnny Dawkins, basically Coach K would have been fired. So uh, Johnny Dawkins is my favorite uh, Duke basketball player. He did pretty good in the NBA until uh, he had some uh, he had some knee issues and was uh, that him played for uh, San Antonio and the 76ers for a little bit. Uh, how many laps uh, did you guys run at Sobo? It was a hundred lap race and we led probably probably close to 50, 50 of those laps. We we got the we got the lead in the second half of the, of the race uh, or a little. We might have led sixty laps or something. I don't know, but we got the lead, we got the lead uh, definitely definitely the second half of the race. And then once once we got clean air on the nose of that car. That thing took off, and uh, man, it was uh, it was just a little bit snug, but everybody else was way too loose. So that little bit of snug, we had better drive off than everybody uh, from center center off uh, was where we were make, getting uh, making hay or getting it done. So uh, we definitely got it done. So uh, congrats to Craig, man. He he drove uh, his tail off, and uh, it feels good it feels good to be uh, back in victory lane with him. Uh, hopefully, everybody else we work with this year, we can get them wins as well. Uh, I thought the race was fine. You don't need chaos every week. Respect the Byron and his team. They were pretty much perfect. Yeah, so this is kind of like uh, this is kind of like in Major League Baseball. Like uh, uh, people love to see home runs, but every once in a while, a guy, a pitcher, will throw a perfect game, and that's kind of what this race uh, reminded me of. And I, obviously, I didn't see the first two stages, but everybody has told me William William Byron dominated the first two stages. So that's kind of what these type of races remind me of. Same thing with Michael McDowell last year. This is like watching a, pit, a pitcher throw a perfect game. Uh, yeah, there's not going to be any home runs. There's not going to be a lot of offense, but the guy had a perfect, basically a perfect race, uh, and his team had perfect pit stops. So uh, that's that's what this kind of reminds me of. Uh, I hope Max Verstappen doesn't go uh, to Mercedes. He will never win another world title again, says Escobar. I mean, Verstappen, I hope he stays with Red Bull until he retires. To be honest, uh, that would I just I just need to I need to see another guy do that. Uh, let's see, eleventh place, uh, 11th place finish for uh, Jolo. I uh, never saw that happening, says Jimmy Switzer. Hey, so there you go. Joey Logano definitely needed that. And uh, if hopefully they're done with uh, hopefully they're done with tech and they posted the uh, points yet. Nope, not yet. Still teching. So uh, we'll see. Uh, is Craig's uh, car going to be uh, ready soon, says one wise guy? I hope so. I hope so. Because as soon as Craig's car gets ready, uh, we can finish getting my car ready and I can go race at Ace. So, uh, fingers crossed, everybody gets the car ready <laughs> on time. So, because uh, I definitely need his help to get mine done. Uh, he is the, uh, the the brains behind the operation and, and uh, obviously a much better driver uh, than me, too. Uh, did uh, Sobo have uh, bologna sandwiches? They got bologna burgers. They don't have bologna sandwiches, uh, Brickyard. But uh, for sure, a couple people did like that. I, I wore this sweatshirt there, obviously. Uh, so, a couple people, I did get some, uh, some compliments on the sweatshirts. So, uh, they are good. Uh... I don't know if we'll have hoodies out uh, anytime soon, but we're working on it. So, uh, well, these are hoodies, but, you know, the, the full zip is what I meant, the full zip hoodies. But as soon as we get them up, uh, I'll let everybody know. It'll probably be the hottest part of summer, and I'll drop those uh, so that they can sell poorly uh, as well. Uh, let's see here. Refresh on the... Uh Trying to refresh Jayski to see if it'll pull up again. <clears throat> there we go. There's the points report. Martin Trex Jr. takes over the lead uh, in the points. Ty Gibbs is second. He is five points behind Martin Trex Jr. Uh, Ryan Blaney, nine points uh, behind. He is in third. Denny Hamlin is 14 points behind. He is in fourth. So one, two, three Toyotas. In the top four and one forward, Kyle Larson, uh, the first Chevrolet, is in fifth. He is 16 points back. And then you've got Fast Willie B in sixth, uh, Christopher Bell in seventh, Ross Chastain in eighth, Chase Elliott in ninth, Tyler Reddick tenth, uh, Alex Bowman eleventh, Chris Buescher twelfth, Kyle Busch thirteenth, Daniel Suarez fourteenth, John Hunter Nemechek fifteenth, Brad Keselowski sixteenth. And your drivers, first drivers on the outside looking in right now, Chase Briscoe, Bubba Wallace, 
Michael McDowell and Austin Sendrick uh, now on the outside looking in. Joey Logano goes from, I think he was in the 30s in points. He is now 22nd in points, uh, 120 points behind the leader. Uh, and Austin Dillon is 30th in points uh, behind Josh Berry, Daniel Hemrick, Todd Gilliland, uh, Justin Haley, Carson Osvar. So Austin Dillon is just in front of Ryan Priest, Harrison Burton, and Kaz Gralla, and Noah Gregson as far as the drivers, and Zane Smith uh, as far as the drivers that are the lowest in points uh, that have run all the races this year. Of course, Noah Gregson with the uh, points penalty, that's, that's a big reason why he is down there. Uh, but his teammate Ryan Priest has finally passed him in points. So there you go. There is your points report. Uh, Brandon Jones won a uh, stage in Xfinity but lost the win to Riley Herbst. Uh, yeah, the Xfinity race was pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Bruce Garvey, I don't know uh, how they do tech on uh, Byron's car uh, when he tried to destroy the car after the after the win. Yeah, so the burnouts, that's uh, that's always uh, intriguing. As to, uh, everybody, uh, whenever you destroy the tires, there's going to be a lot of people who are like, oh, they're, hot, they're trying to hide something. Uh, and to their credit, uh, Kyle uh, – Chad Canales was caught on the radio that one time uh, saying uh, rough up the back end because uh, obviously they had something going on back there. Uh, Byron destroyed the rear tires, uh, says in between lanes. Uh, they should have uh, sponsored ship decals and cup like Fig Newtons on Ricky Bobby's car. Yeah, just throw them over the windshield, front windshield. I know in the uh, Mexico series, they actually do have a uh, big sticker uh, on the uh, right side of the windshield, passenger side of the windshield uh, over there. Uh, Toyota to the front, says one wise guy. Yep, they, uh, what, what was it, three out of four there? Uh, Pockers just put up that uh, LaJoy was uh, cramping after the race. Oh, so a rough one for Corey LaJoy. Uh, he was, I did, I did uh, hear that he was laying, laying down after the race. Uh, Fox showed LaJoy after the race, uh, says in between the lanes. Uh, thanks, BB, says Jamie Schweitzer. Uh, didn't uh, the LaJoy thing, uh, didn't the LaJoy thing deal with the heat? Uh, could be, because if that's why he's cramping, I mean, you would imagine it had to be hot if he was losing that many fluids. Uh, to cramp up. Gilliland is having a uh, great season. I'd be nervous if I was Corey, Corey right now, uh, says one wise guy. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe Hosevar. Maybe Hosevar I'd be worried about uh, if I was Corey. But I, I think I think as long as they all three over there just get along together, I think they'll, uh, I think they'll be okay. Uh, Xfinity race was pretty good, says uh, Jackson Robinson. Yeah, I, I thought the Xfinity race was – I haven't seen the full cup race yet. But I thought the uh, Xfinity race was probably the best of the three races uh, this uh, weekend. Uh, Mr. Pearson, uh, what's up, my friend? Uh, he boiled the tires. They just uh, put new tires on uh, and roll at the tech. Uh, for sure, for sure. And, I mean, when you when you got uh, when you got Hendrick money like that, you might as well burn them down. We did the uh, Polish victory lap on ours because we wanted to uh, save the motor. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks, BD. Who do you uh, work for and what series do you work in? Craig Moore Racing. Uh, and Craig Moore just won the uh, race. Uh, we race uh, the NASCAR Weekly Series uh, most of the time. Uh, Craig will be at South Austin. We're going to help. We'll, we're going to help Jason Barnes uh, at Orange uh, Orange County. Uh, Hardy. We're going to uh, Brandon Hardy. We're going to help him at South Austin as well. Uh, Lane. Uh, he is going to be an Orange County car, and he's going to be running Charger class. Uh, and then when we've got time, me and Craig, uh, are going to race. Uh, so hopefully I get a race in this year. Wasn't able to get a race in last year. Uh, Corey and both Cephas are, uh, both laid out. Uh, also, so both of them, host of our, uh, host of our, uh, was cramping up too. uh, Spire withholding, uh, cool shirts, uh, or AC or something. Yeah. So, uh, Spire needs to work on the, uh, driver comforts. If, if both of their drivers are down like that, you don't, here's the deal. If, if you're uncomfortable in that race car, you're not going to be making uh, the best lap times. I mean, you, you don't have to be sitting in a lazy boy, but you know what I'm saying. You got to you got to have the drivers a little bit. The, the more comfortable the driver, the faster he's going to go. Uh, just like Truex at Dover last year uh, says Need for Speed. Gilliland uh, is having a uh, great season. What about that time Clint Boyer lost power steering at a road course and finished the race? That was that was an all time man move. Uh, Daniel Suarez did it last year. I want to say too. Martin Truex Jr. got uh, damage uh, early on. Apparently, it was between Lejoy and Wallace early. Uh, the wheel man must have uh, been broken. Or the wheel must have been broken after the incident. Uh, says in between the lanes. Uh, shout out to uh, Rick Ware Racing. I love Justin Haley. Hey, Justin Haley, he had a heck of a run going today. Uh, didn't get the uh, finish he probably deserved, uh, but at one point he was up to 11th. So uh, he he's doing he's doing as good as anybody. He's doing better than anybody's ever done in Rick Ware Racing equipment. And shout out to Rick Ware for putting more money into that team uh, and doing his best to make that team uh, as good as he can make it. So just shout out to everybody at R R R W R over there. 
Uh, track limits needs a uh, black and white rule. Uh, two tires on the as asphalt at all times, says Brickyard Brickhead. I agree with you. You can't leave it up to NASCAR's discretion because we've seen too many uh, incidents where one car was way farther over, didn't get penalized, and another car wasn't as far over and didn't get penalized, especially in the Xfinity race. Uh, that Boyer Rover deal uh, gave us a uh, solid uh, pick of uh, Clint post-race for sure. Uh, Ford has to figure it out, says uh, Jackson. Yeah, I agree. I feel like the raw speed is there for Ford, but they have really got to figure out on how to make the car turn. Uh, and there's just uh, there's just no two ways around it. All right. That looks like we've reached the end of the comments here. I'm going to jump off and I will catch you guys on Tuesday. Start working on the uh, episode for tomorrow. And then uh, then some other stuff I'm working on. So we've got a I've got a full schedule of work this week, uh, all all YouTube video related. So uh, hopefully we get a lot of that done. And I'll catch you guys uh, on the next one. Clint Boyer was uh, enjoying Texas barbecue before the race. Hey, who wouldn't? Texas barbecue, uh, second best barbecue on the planet next to North Carolina barbecue. All right, now that I've offended everyone in Texas, peace.